one of the greats. Wouldn't mind having this guy back on the team. And that's not really a shot at our quarterback, though. He didn't play good today. But really what this guy and the team that he led, or the teams he led, what, what, what they stood for. Because what he stands for as a guy, and because he represents the, the, the success we've had over these past you know few years. Him, along with Jordan Shipley, Quan Cosby, Brian Arakpo, all those guys, they had leadership. They had the clutch gene, and they had character. And they were just good, too. I mean, that's, that's, that's the main thing. They're just good. Um, you know, when I was at the stadium today, and, and today Colt McCoy got his, um, his, right, his, his dues today because he got his uh, number retired amongst the greats of Longhorn history. And I'm proud to say that I was here for three years of his career. So he'll always be my quarterback when you look back at uh, my time here at Texas. Um, <clears throat> you know, when I was at the stadium, <clears throat> I was fuming after the game. I was just pissed. Um, and I still am. <clears throat> but you look at it, and for, I mean, I guess first off, um, Baylor... This wasn't just a, <clears throat> a flute game. This wasn't Texas wasn't ready. This was nothing. The Baylor Bears are better than Texas, and they're a good football team. And Texas was the inferior opponent. And you know why I know how I know that? Not just because Baylor won. Because Baylor didn't even come with their best game. I've seen Baylor play better than this before. And there are Baylor fans, you know, and they, they know this, who, who watch the team all year. They know, <clears throat> you know, ba- <laughs> the Bears could have played better than this. And uh, they still beat us 30-22. Uh, um, you know, one of the things that drives Baylor is a core, is their quarterback. And I said this in my last video about Robert Griffin. Robert Griffin made some bad mistakes today. Um, but he never once let it get him down. Never once did he ever hang his head or act like, oh, crap here. Oh, no, here it goes. Uh, he was going to win this ball game. And he, he has, everyone on that team has the utmost confidence in, in Robert Griffin to get the job done. And uh, he's got a good supporting cast around him there on offense. Um, and the defense, like I, as I as I expected, said in the last video, uh, they, they they give up a lot of yards. But when you're playing Texas this year, we're gonna make you look good, and they they showed up. It's so it, it it's frustrating. I, it it's there there is not one. There, there's no singular problem with this Texas team. There are flaws <clears throat> all over this place. If you want to talk about quarterback, and I know everyone wants to talk about quarterback. Yeah, Garrett didn't play good. That being said, he was not the worst player out there because though he had his moments where he wasn't too hot, uh, our wide receivers maybe dropped about seven or eight passes uh, that were right into their hands. Um, Greg Smith, well, I don't know why we're throwing to him, uh, catches the ball, gets hit, pops up in the air. Uh, Baylor gets it, uh, turns into, uh, they end up turning that drive right there into the uh, go ahead score, at least the put away score. Um, Kickoff, punt, punt returns. We muffed two. We got them both back. We didn't deserve to get either of them back. Um, we did get them back, but we didn't deserve it. And the defense. The defense. I I don't know. I don't know what happened. And and a lot of this goes on Muschamp because when when you are up, it's twelve to ten in the second quarter. There's not a lot of time left. Baylor has the ball, third and ten. Believe they're in their own territory. So we've got a chance to get. If we get a stop, we could possibly get the ball back, and we end up getting getting the ball back. But Muschamp calls a jailbreak blitz on third and ten, leaves our our corners on islands. Uh, Wright, who's their best wide receiver, beats us on the slant. There's no one back there. Beats Blake Gideon. No one back there. Touchdown, Baylor. That's on the coaches. And that's, that's on Muschamp, a guy that I have a lot of respect for, all Texas fans do. And then we go up 19-10. to 10 Because I, I give a lot of credit to the offense there. Coming back after that score with a limited amount of time, a little, little over a minute, able to get a field goal going 12-10. to 10. And then this first drive, the first drive coming out of half was probably one of the best drives of the season. That's that's saying, well, it's not really saying a whole lot. We had a lot of good drives anyways. Um, 
but go right down the field. Garrett ends up running the ball in for a 20 yard, 20 yards out for a touchdown. 19 to 10. All is good with the world. We're looking good. We were stuffing Baylor. They weren't able to get a lot of momentum. And what do they do? Run it right up the gut with Finley for a touchdown. 70 yards or however, however long it was. That's gutless. That is that is pathetic. And then they end up just beating us down. This is the worst one. Not not because this is the this was the this is probably other than Oklahoma, this is the best team we've lost to. But this is the worst one just because of the culmination of everything. Of how you're up nineteen to ten and you give up twenty straight points. You have two, two muffed punts that should have been reco- recovered by Baylor and wasn't. You had an opportunity there in the first half where Robert Griffin drops the ball and we try to scoop it up, don't do it, and Baylor's able to get the ball back. This team has no discipline. This team is not that good. It's And you know what? The coaches have to be held responsible for a lot of this. And I, I know I'm... I've been the one saying that this is going to be a rebuilding year anyways, and I'm, I was okay with that. But I'm sorry. and I, I'm, I'm not the fire the coaches guy, but Greg Davis, when you are down by two scores and you have the ball going in, our running game, no matter what the nut yards were, it was not a very effective running game. At least it wasn't explosive. We're trying to preserve time. There's five minutes left. And we run the ball out of the shotgun twice. And end up having to burn a timeout. What is that? I'd rather just take your shots in the end zone. You have to set, because we end up using a timeout there that we could have used later on, possibly. End up kicking a field goal. And then uh, Aaron Williams and Blake got hurt. <clears throat> they ran into each other, um, trying to stop a uh, riot. Uh, did get the incompletion. Um, I, I think I'm not sure. I think I think um, Blake just got his his bell rung. I think he just got his, the 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 breath knocked out of him. Aaron Williams was down for a while, and it was good to see him get up. This 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 is just not a good football team. It's not. Um, I was I was really mad after the game, after thinking about it. There's no I'm not making excuses for him because there's no excuse for them to be this bad because they're they're highly recruited guys. Uh, this coaching staff has not done a good job this season preparing them. They've tried to get this new, this new kind of offense. You know what's weird? You, know, you look at Oregon, and Oregon's a good example of this because Oregon's been taking a lot of recruits from the state of Texas because we had an offense run by Vince Young and Colt McCoy that won us a national title and got us to a national title last year and could have got and probably should have got us to a national title the year before that. Ex- I mean, the winning percent. And Colt, it got Colt McCoy the winningest quarterback of all time. And then we try to change it up. And all the high schools here in Texas are running the spread. So we're trying to go backwards, back to the early 2000s, when we were getting our butts whipped by Oklahoma and everybody else. And so we're losing these good guys, these pretty good recruits. And you see them go to Oregon. Oregon is the 2005 offense uh, for Texas on steroids. They score on eight straight possessions, maybe even more than that. I quit, after, I quit looking after that. I don't know. This is this is the worst. This is the worst season under Mac Brown probably ever, um, and I get to be a part of it. My senior season. That's awesome. Um, that being said, I am not. Well, first, you just if you want to look at the schedule next week, we're on the road against Kansas State. That'll be fun. We're all you know. We're we're so good in Manhattan, aren't we? Um, I mean, it is very plausible that we won't make a ball game this year because I mean, you look at the schedule at K State. Home against Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State will probably could could run us out of the building. Um, you got Florida Atlantic, and I, I'm I'm not saying this just because I'm down and down. That I'm not guaranteeing anything. We might even lose to Florida Atlantic, and then Texas A&M. You saw when they put Tannehill in what they did today against Texas Tech. If Tannehill has that kind of day uh, in Austin, Aggies will whip the dog out of us. It's just gonna happen. If if that's if unless we change something, then I I don't know what to change. There's not really a thing you can change. So that being said, I was at the stadium. I don't leave the stadium until the eyes of Texas are done playing. There's people who leave. There's people who don't go to the games. You know, people call Texas fans a lot of us T-shirt fans, and 
you're right, there's a lot of t-shirt fans. But I want to tell you straight up, there are those of us out there who do truly, deeply care about this team and care about this program. One, I'm a student here, and though some of you don't believe that, I am a student at the University of Texas. But I've loved this team ever since I was a kid, you know. So I'm not just around for the Colt McCoys and the Vince Young years. I'm here for, right now, the start of the Garrett Gilbert years. I was there for the Chris Sims, Major Applewhites, uh, James Brown. And that was a pretty good year. Um, you know, it's you go through times like this. The T-shirt fans are the guys who won't be wearing, who won't won't be supporting this Longhorn team until we get back on track. And this team will get back on track. I don't know how many years it's going to take. I'm not going to say next year we're back on track because the way it's going right now, this could be a while. And I didn't think that when we started losing games. But after tonight, I'm trying to kind of get the realization this could probably be a trend for Texas until we really finally get everything overhauled. There may need to be some coaching changes. I'm not talking about head coach. But position-wise, Bobby Kennedy, McWhorters, Greg Davis maybe as well. I don't I don't know. But I'm going to be here. And I'm going to go to all the games this year. We may not win another ball game this year. And I'm I after tonight, I have prepared myself for that. But I will be at every single home game, including the Thanksgiving night game against Texas A&M. Been a bad football season. Cowboys, we know what they've been doing. Longhorns, one of the worst seasons ever. And um, Rangers, I need you. Ranger, good Rangers won tonight, and um, I need them to win the whole thing because being there is great. You know that they got in the championship, but I, I need them to win the whole thing because my football season has gone to the toilet. So Baylor, I, and I know I, I spent a lot of time ripping Texas. Baylor, you guys are good. You, Baylor fans. You, be proud of your team. You guys are great. And uh, Art Browse, he's got y'all going the right direction. So, um, good football team. You got If you guys can get um, a better defense, get some better defensive recruits, um, you'll be a really good team. Um, but, hey, congrats, Baylor. You're better. Not just tonight. Uh, you were a better team this season. So, <sighs> hook em horns, Texas fight, Colt. Glad to see you tonight. Good times. Got to keep clicking, Longhorns fans. It's been a rough one.